Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. I am Neha Rajvanshi and I welcome you all in today's class that is English class of class 10th. So students in the previous video we have started with our new topic of grammar syllabus that is question text. Yes, it's a very easy topic and in our examination we will have one sentence. After reading the sentence we have to add appropriate question tag to that sentence. And in the previous video we have discussed all the basic, th basic things related to question tags that how can we form a question tag we have discussed about the auxiliary verbs also and we have discussed this thing also that if we are having one positive sentence and we have to make the negative tag then how can we write to you know auxiliary verb plus not in a short form so yes we have seen the entire table of auxiliary verb in which we were having the contractive form so we can say the short forms of auxiliary verb after that we have discussed about the pronoun because in a question tag we need auxiliary verb and and pronoun so we have discussed about the pronoun also and we have seen certain rules that how can we use appropriate to pronoun or we can say how can we change the other words into pronoun right so I hope this much is clear to you all and in today's video we will see some more rules we will see some more important points related with this topic that is question tags so now let's begin our today's video we will complete this topic in this video so now let's begin so students now we are having some of the important points that we have to take care when we are doing this uh, topic when we are adding question tag in a sentence so these are the basic rules that we have to follow these are all the important things are here that we have to take care of okay so now let's start with the first point let's see the tense of the statement and the question tag must match so yes this is the first point and it's a very important point in the previous video also also we have seen so many examples and every time you know I quoted this thing that to just to focus here that the tense we have to uh, take the same tense we have to use the same auxiliary that is given in the sentence so same thing we are having here so according to this rule the tense of the statement or we can say the sentence and the tense of the question tag it must match so it means that the sentence that is given to us we have to read that sentence very carefully we have to observe that what tense is there in the sentence and in the question tag also we have to use the same tense and yes if we are having any model auxiliary in sentence then also we have to use the same model auxiliary in our question tag right so jo tense hai wo bilkul same rahega jo part one hai that is the sentence and the part two that is the question tag that will be same right so we are having some of the examples so let's see First one is Vanya is learning English. So here we all can see that in this sentence we are having present continuous tense because we are having is RM and first form plus ING. So it's a present continuous tense here. Now we are having Vanya is learning English. So it's a positive sentence. So question tag it will be negative. So we have to write is plus not in a short form that will be isn't. And for Vanya we are using she as a pronoun because Vanya is a feminine noun so for that we are using she as a pronoun so this is the question tag that we are having here isn't she right next example Ajay was playing cricket so now it is very much clear here that in this sentence we are having past continuous tense because we are having was as a helping verb and first form plus ing so this sentence belongs to past continuous tense so in the question tag we have to use the same tense so we are writing was plus not that is wasn't in a short form and for Ajay we are using he as a pronoun so our question tag is here wasn't he one more example is here kids like chocolate so in this sentence we are having no helping verb so now we have to be very careful regarding the subject and regarding the main verb so we are having kids that is a plural subject and with plural subject you know we are having like that is a main verb and we are having first form of the main verb okay so it means that we are having present simple tense here and do is hidden here in this sentence and this is 
is the reason we are using do plus not in a short form that will be don't and for kids that's a plural uh, noun or we can say plural subject we are using they as a pronoun so here our question tag will be don't they okay all right so now according to our first rule we have to be very careful regarding the, the tense we have to read the sentence we have to observe that what tense is there generally we will have the helping verb but if we are having per present simple tense or we can say past simple tense then you know uh, helping verbs like do does or did they will be hidden so we have to be very careful we have to recognize that what helping verb is hidden there if we are having second form of the main verb then uh, there is a did hidden why because then that tense will be of past simple tense if we are having plural subject and with plural subject we are having first form of the main verb it means we are having do there if we are having singular subject and with the main verb we are having s plus es so it means we are having does there does is hidden there so in this manner we have to be very careful and we have to use the same tense in our question tag all right moving on now we are having a second point so let's see if the statement is positive the question tag must be negative and the opposite in case so yes this is also the rule that we have discussed so many times in the previous video also and according to this rule if the statement that is given to us that statement is positive then the question tag that we are framing that we are making or we can say that we are adding to that statement that will be negative and the opposite in case it means that if the statement is negative then the question tag it will be positive so just learn this thing that the statement and the question tag they cannot be in the same structure if the sentence is positive use negative question tag and if the given statement is already in a negative structure then use the positive question tag okay so let's see examples related to this point we are having here vivan is working hard so in this example we can see that vivan is working hard it's a positive sentence in this sentence we are not having any negative word so it means it's a positive sentence and because of this reason that it's a positive sentence the question tag that we are adding here that will be negative so this is the reason we are writing isn't he but in this second example we are having vivan is not working hard so in this example we are having not because of this word we can say that we are having one negative sentence here and because we are having negative sentence so now our tag it will be positive so this is the reason here our tag is is he so what is the change pronoun will be same we are having vivan at a masculine noun so for that we are using he helping verb or we can say auxiliary verb we are using he but in this uh, uh, example that is the first one we are having is plus not and in the second example we are having only is why I hope now the difference is clear to you all the according to rule we are having this thing that if the sentence is uh, you know positive we have to make negative question tag like we are having here isn't he but if the sentence is already in a negative form then the question tag it will be positive like we are having here is the heap okay so it's a very easy rule you have to apply this rule every time you have to read the sentence very carefully you have to observe this thing that whether the given sentence is a positive one or negative one and according to that only you have to decide that what kind of question tag you have to add positive question tag or negative question tag okay now we are having third point third important rule is here let's read if in a sentence there is any negative word like we are having some of the words here so let's read we are having neither never no no one nobody 
few, little, hardly, rarely, scarcely, seldom, etc. So if we are having these words, then the sentence is also considered to be negative one. Why? Because all these words are negative words. So as an ek sentence me agar not hai, then only we will decide that that is a negative sentence. No, we are having certain words like we are having here. So all these words are also considered to be negative. So if in this sentence we are having any of these words, then also the given sentence, the given statement that will be considered as a negative one. And then the question tag will be affirmative, then the question tag it will be positive. Okay, so it's a very important rule. You have to be very careful. You have to be all have to be, you know, very careful regarding these things. That if we are having any of these words, then also the given statement it will be negative. So it's not it's not like that only you know N O T this word will make the sentence negative. There are some other words also because all these words are related with negative meaning. So if we are having these words, then also the sentence will be negative. Negative and then according to the rule, our question tag it will be positive. So now we are having some examples here to clear this thing. So let's see the first example we are having. We have no friends. So yes, we are having no here in this sentence. So because of this word, now this sentence is a negative one. And yes, according to the rule, now we have to make one positive question tag here. So we are writing have we. Second example, they have nothing. So yes, nothing, it's a negative word. And we are having one negative word in the sentence. It means this sentence is now in the category of negative sentence. And now according to the rule, we have to make positive question tag here. So we are having they have nothing. So now our tag will be have they. Next example, I know little about you. Again, little, it's a negative word. If we are having little, if we are having few, then these are also negative words. And then yes, again, question tag, it will be positive. So here we are writing, I know little about you. Do I? Next is nobody is perfect. So if we are having nobody, no one, then also our sentence is a negative one and we have to make positive question tag. So here we are writing are they. Next, it is rarely found. So we are having rarely, rarely again, it's a negative word. So now this is a negative sentence. We are having it is rarely found. So you can say that in this sentence, we are having no negative word, but no, we are having rarely here. And rarely it is there in this uh, uh, category that we have seen. It is in this list that we have seen. So now we can say that because of this word, this sentence is a negative sentence and now the question tag it will be positive one so here we are writing is it okay so it's an important rule you have to learn all the words that we have seen here that are here in this point and if we are having any of these words then also the sentence it will be considered to be negative one and then according to the rule the question tag it will be positive and yes we have seen so many examples also we have discussed all these words in these examples so i hope this is clear Next, moving on, we are having new rules. So now let's see. So now we are having two words, a few and a little. So in the previous uh, uh, rule that we have discussed, we were having few and a little. And now we are having a few and a little. So now what is the difference? Let's see. So uh, the rule is a few and a little. They are positive words. Students don't get confused. If we are having little and few, so yes, they are negative words. But if we are having a before,
before few and little if we are having a few and a little then now these words are considered as a positive words so now because of this the sentence is also considered as a positive one so question tag will be negative okay so agar only few only little hai then yes they are negative word so then you have to make a positive question tag but if we are having a few if we are having a little then just uh, learn this thing that these two words are known as positive words agar inke aage a lag jata hai so now they are positive words and if they are there in the sentence so sentence will be positive and then you have to make negative question tag so let's see the example to clear this thing first example we are having here my uncle has a little money so here we are having a little so because of that we can say that we are having positive sentence so we have to make negative question tag so here our question tag is hasn't he second example raj has read a few books again we are having a few so again this is a positive sentence so according to the rule we have to make negative question tag that is hasn't he all right and now just suppose here we are having my uncle has little money just suppose there is no a before little and the sentence is my uncle has little money then what will be the tag then because of this thing that we are having little the sentence will be negative one so at that time the tag will be positive one then our tag will be has he but because of this word because of this a the entire meaning meaning or we can say the question tag also changes because of this a uh, because this a uh, added positive meaning to this little and to this few all right so little and few yes they are negative word but if we are having a few if we are having a little then they are considered as a positive word so now this sentence is regarding regarded as a positive sentence so our, our question tag will be now negative one okay next rule that we are having here if there is a formative imperative sentence we can make question tag in affirmative will you or negative want you as well so now we are talking about the imperative sentence yes in our examination we can have imperative sentence also in the question tag statement so i hope this term imperative sentence this is very much clear to you all because in some of the topics like when we were doing active voice passive voice when we were doing direct and direct speech then we have discussed this term imperative sentence in a very detailed manner so imperative sentence are the sentence that it starts with the first form of the main verb and in the sentence we are having any kind of order any kind of request any kind of command so such sentence are known as imperative sentence so now this rule says that if we are having affirmative imperative sentence so where we are have to make we have to add question tag so we are having two options here if the imperative sentence is affirmative be careful here we are talking about affirmative imperative sentence or we can say positive imperative sentence so then we are having two options we can make affirmative positive question tag like will you and we can make negative question tag also that is want you so both the options they are absolutely okay if we are having positive imperative sentence clear let's see the examples right here open the door this thing is clear that open the door it's imperative sentence why because we are having first form in the beginning of the sentence we are having open the door so it's a positive imperative sentence so according to the rule now we are having two options we can write will you and we can write want you as well so we can say open the door will you and we can also say open the door want you okay so both the options are absolutely right if we are having positive imperative sentence or we can say affirmative imperative sentence okay we are having some more examples with us so let's see 
प्लीज हेल्प मी विल यू सो अगेन वी आर हैविंग इम्पेटिव सेंटेंस एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव इम्पेटिव सेंटेंस दैट इज प्लीज हेल्प मी सो येस वी आर हैविंग टू ऑप्शन हेयर वी कैन राइट विल यू ऑल्सो एंड वी कैन राइट वॉन्ट यू ऑल्सो सो द सेंटेंस कैन बी प्लीज हेल्प मी विल यू एंड इट कैन बी प्लीज हेल्प मी वॉन्ट यू एज वेल एंड येस बोथ द ऑप्शन दे आर एब्सोलूटली राइट वन मोर एग्जाम्पल गो अवे एटवर्स इट This is also imperative sentence. We are having go. That is first form of the main verb in the beginning. So this is imperative sentence. So now again we can write will you also and we can write want you also. So we can make the sentence in this manner. Go away at once. Will you and we can make the sentence go away at once. Want you. Okay. And the important thing जो आपको यहाँ पे ध्यान रखनी है that is that in the imperative sentence you have to use will as the object. auxiliary verb and you have to use you as a pronoun so this is the important thing that to pronoun it will be you because in the sentence you won't have any pronoun you can observe all these sentence there is no noun there is no pronoun in the sentence so in the question tag as a pronoun we have to use you and as the helping verb or we can say as the auxiliary verb we have to use will because in the sentence obviously we won't have any auxiliary verb also so in the imperative sentence our pronoun will be you our auxiliary verb will be we will but the thing that we are discussing here that if we are having positive imperative sentence then we are having the option we can use the positive tag also that will be will you and we can make negative tag also that will be want you but pronoun will be you only and auxiliary verb or helping verb will be will only okay now next rule the question tag of a negative imperative sentence will always be affirmative that is so will you so now this rule says that in the previous rule we have discussed that if we are having positive imperative sentence then we are having the two options we can make positive tag also we can make negative tag also but now according to this rule if we are having negative imperative sentence if our uh, imperative sentence is in negative form then the tag then the question tag it will be only and only positive now we are having no options now no choices there now the question tag will be only and only positive that is will you okay so let's see some of the examples we are having don't switch off the light so we are having don't because of this we can say that this is a negative imperative sentence so now the question tag it will be positive so that is will you and one more thing that you have to be careful here students that yes we are having don't so don't get confused here that you know do is the helping verb and we can make the tag like do you no no oh, it's the imperative sentence okay so just to read the sentence very carefully ye tense ka example nahi hai this is not the present simple tense that you can say that we are having do here this is not the present simple tense this is the imperative sentence this is don't switch off the light so it's the imperative sentence because of that we have to use you as a pronoun and we have to use will as the auxiliary verb and because of this thing that this is negative imperative sentence are question tag will be positive one that is will you next example don't be late for the class again we are having negative imperative sentence so according to the rule our question tag will be positive one and in imperative sentence we always use a you as a pronoun and will as a helping verb so positive question tag will be will you next is don't make a noise again this is negative imperative sentence so our question tag is will you okay so students you have to be very careful if we are having positive imperative sentence then you are having the option you can make positive tag also you can make negative tag also but if we are having negative imperative sentence or we can say if we are having don't in the beginning of the imperative sentence then the question tag will be only and only positive one that is will you and just learn this thing that uh, the positive question tag in imperative sentence is will you 
एंड द नेगेटिव टैग इन इम्पेटिव सेंटेंस इज वॉन्ट यू इट मीन्स आपको प्रोनाउन हमेशा यू यूज करना है एंड ऑक्जिलरी वर्ब हमेशा विल यूज करना है इन द इम्पेरेटिव सेंटेंस ओके सम एग्जाम्पल वी आर हैविंग हेयर डोंट ड्राइव फास्ट विल यू सो दिस इज ऑल्सो नेगेटिव इम्पेटिव सेंटेंस वी आर हैविंग डोंट सो वी हैव टू मेक पॉजिटिव क्वेश्चन टैग दैट इज विल यू अनदर एग्जाम्पल डोंट इंसल्ट हिम अगेन दिस इज नेगेटिव इम्पेटिव सेंटेंस सो वी हैव टू मेक पॉजिटिव क्वेश्चन टैग दैट इज विल यू नाउ लेट्स टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल सपोज ओके आई एम राइटिंग हेयर don't go there and we have one more sentence that is go there so i hope this is clear to you all that these two sentence are imperative sentence go there it's a positive imperative sentence and don't go there it's a negative imperative sentence so now according to the rules that we have discussed if we are having negative imperative sentence then the question tag will be positive only it means here question tag will be will you all right but if we are having positive imperative sentence then we are having the options here the question tag will be will you this is also right and if you are writing want you then it is also a right option okay so in this sentence we are having two options but in this sentence there is no choice here the question tag will be positive only okay now moving on we are having next rule so let's see if in the imperative sentence there is a let so if in the sentence we are having lets then what is the rule so now because of this word lets we are having any kind of proposal we are having any kind of suggestion in the sentence so now the question tag it will be shall we so what is the difference the difference is that now what is the pronoun that we are using now we have to use the we in the place of you and and because of we we have to use a shall in the place of a will so this is the another important rule that you have to learn actually that if we are having lets in the beginning of the sentence if or we can say if we are having lets in the imperative sentence then the question tag it will be shall we now the pronoun is we and now the auxiliary verb that we have to use is a shall so let's see some of the example to clear this thing first example we are having here let's go for the picnic so this is the imperative sentence that is right that is written here and we are having lets in the beginning of the sentence so because of this word because of this lets we are having a kind of you know proposal we are having a kind of suggestion in the sentence so according to the rule what will be the question tag the question tag will be shall we okay so now the sentence is let's go for the picnic shall we so just to learn this thing that if we are having let's so then question tag it will be shall we another example let's perform together so ab wapas se hum dekh sakte hain ki sentence mein you know we are having suggestions we are having proposal so now the tag the, the question tag that we are adding here it will be shall we some more examples are here so let's see let's read the story book so this is also imperative sentence and in this sentence we are having lets and because of this word our question tag will be shall we and the complete sentence will be let's read the story book shall we next is let's join the football class so in this example also we can see that we are having lets so because of this reason here again our question tag will be shall we okay so agar shall we hame use karna hai kab karna hai that you have to learn ye tabhi use karna hai if we are having lets in the beginning of the sentence if we are having lets in any imperative sentence then the question tag it will be shall we okay next rule 
If the imperative sentence starts with let me, him, her or them, then the question tag will be will you. So this is the another point and according to this point if the imperative sentence starts with let me, let him, let her, let them, right like this way, then the question tag will be will you. So students here you have to be very careful. This let is different from let's, okay. Let's, that's a different word and let it's a different word so if we are having let's then the question tag will be shall we but if we are having let and with let we can have me him her them or any noun also then the question tag it will be will you all right let's see some of the example we are having let me do this work so in this sentence we are having let to me it's not let's it's let me so because of this reason here the question tag will be will you next is let her choose the subject again we are having let so because of this reason the question tag will be will you Next example, let him do this alone. In this sentence also, we are having let him. So now again, the question tag, it will be will you. And the next example is let them drive your car. So in this sentence also, we are having let them. So now the question tag, it will be will you. So you have to be very careful regarding these two words, let's and let. So if we are having let's, so then the question tag, it will be shall we why because let's is actually let us okay it's uh, let us so usko hum, you know let's likhte hain so if we are having let's then the question tag will be shall we but if we are having let and after let we can have me him her them like such words then the question tag it will be will you so read the sentence very carefully observe the words very carefully then only decide the perfect question tag for the given statement now we are having another rule so let's see negative of m will be r and i so this is also very important rule according to this rule whenever we are having m and we have to make the negative tag we have to make the negative form of this auxiliary that is m so that negative word will be r and i it means that m plus not if we have to write m in a negative question tag then m plus not it will be aren't okay always and always it will be aren't we cannot write m and but it always be aren't i so let's see some of the examples we are having i am your best friend so in this sentence we are having m and it's a positive sentence i am your best friend so obviously the question tag it will be negative so we have to write m in a negative form we have to write m plus not so according to this rule m plus not it will be aren't so this is the reason here we are writing R and I okay so this is one of the exceptions that we are having here that whenever we are having M and we have to make negative question tag using M so that question tag will be R and to M plus not it will be R and okay another example I am very honest too. so in this example also we are having M and this is a positive sentence so question tag it will be negative so here we are writing R and I M plus not it will be R and next example I am cooking food so in this sentence we are having I am cooking food that's the present to continuous tense we are having M and it's a positive sentence so question tag it will be negative so we are writing M plus not in a short form that will be R and I okay Next is I am interested in music. Again we are having M and yes it's a positive sentence. So here also I am interested in music. The sentence will be negative one. So that will be R and I. So uh, one more thing that is very much important here that I want to you know uh, make it very much clear. So let's see. Don't get confused. We are talking about the negative question tag that will be R and I. So let's take one example to clear. Suppose I am having I am very busy and another sentence we are having here I am not busy 
so what is the difference the difference is this uh, uh, is a positive sentence i am very busy and i am not busy it's a negative sentence okay so now let's try to add question tag in both the sentence in this sentence that is a positive one we are having am so obviously because this is a positive sentence the question tag that will be negative so we have to write am plus not and yes we have discussed this thing that am plus not always it will be aren't so here i am writing aren't i that is the perfect question tag for this sentence now let's discuss the second sentence that we are having here i am not busy so this is a negative sentence we are having am and we are having not also it's a negative sentence so our question tag will be positive so when we are making a positive question tag then we have to use am only now we don't need to replace am with are okay so this is very important thing you have to be very careful this rule applies only and only when we are making negative question tag of m so m plus not it will be r and but if we are making a positive question tag then it will be m only now we don't need to replace m with r we won't replace m with r we will replace only and only when we are making the negative question tag when we are writing the short form of m plus not okay so this is the reason the question tag of this sentence that is i am very busy it will be r and i and the question tag of this sentence that is i am not busy here the question tag will be am i okay clear so this is the rule that uh, if we are uh, if we have to make a positive question tag then it will be am only but if we have to make the negative question tag we have to write am plus not then it will be r and okay so students we have covered all the important points we have seen all the important rules that we have to follow while adding question tag in a statement so i hope this topic is very much clear to you all we have seen so many examples also we have discussed all the rules with examples in a very detailed manner so it's a really very easy topic you just need to write two words one pronoun and one auxiliary verb right so it's a very easy topic i hope everything all the rules all the examples everything is clear to you all and in the next video we will do the practice exercise we will see some of the sentence some of the statements in which we have to add question tag okay that we will do in the next video so just be with me and see you in the next video thank you